guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Three years ago, we sold our house and we've been traveling across the country ever since. Hi, I'm Goose. I'm Ashley. Join, Join us! us. What's up, Chicklets? So today we're gonna to be talking about something that anybody with an RV and a septic tank can do. Today we're talking about poop and what to do with it. So as you probably know already, today's video is all about installing a DIY dump station at your own home. Now, if you have city, you probably uh, can't do this. Actually, you can't do this. But if you have a septic tank, this is the video for you. Today we're gonna be installing a DIY dump station for less than $10 at your home. So in order to do today's product, there are a few things you need to purchase. A three inch PVC clean out adapter with a plug, as well as a three inch coupler. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need other than your standard RV dump hose, which you probably already have. If you don't, you will need to purchase one of those, but I'm guessing if you have an RV, you already have a hose to dump with. So realistically, these couple PVC parts is all you're gonna need. So for less than 10 bucks, you could be dumping for free at home. All right, let's jump into it. Because of that filter valve thing that's off to one side, what I'm gonna do is put the hole on the opposite side, and I don't want to do the big circumference, I want to do the small one, and that gives me that little tiny margin of air right there. So I'll put that off to the side, pretty centered. So now that I've got our hole cut to the three inch diameter that we need, uh, it would have been a little bit cleaner if you had a three inch hole saw uh, for your drill, but I just don't have that. So I went ahead and used uh, the tools that I had available at my disposal. So it's gonna go ahead and be fine, even though those edges are a little rough, because what I'm gonna be doing is using the self-leveling DAP for its in just basic 100% uh, waterproof interior exterior uh, sealant. I'm just gonna put a nice generous coating around the edge here and put that in and then do the same thing on the interior piece with this guy here so it'll basically sandwich the lid like that and then it'll be uh, locked tight on there and then we have our lid that we can just easily screw on and off just like you would at any old RV park except for with the convenience of home. Boom. And now before we dump anything down into the septic, it takes about 24 hours for the sealant to dry. I mean, you could probably do it before that, but 
might as well be better safe than sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry till tomorrow and then we'll test out dumping. All right guys, so it's been about 24 hours since we installed our three inch fitting into the top of our septic tank. And one of the things I wanted to point out that you wanna definitely be aware of is how your septic system is set up before you do this. Because if you go ahead and just install this willy nilly without knowing how your system is set up, you could do major damage to it. So. First off, before you go ahead and move forward with this, listen to this segment. There are many different types of septic systems. Our system is a basic gravity fed system with a two chamber uh, septic system here. Some of them have three chambers, some old ones I've heard even have just one chamber, but I think this is a fairly common setup here. So what you wanna know is you wanna make sure you know where your line is coming in from and where it's going out to your uh, drain field. So your basic system is you have your house or whatever it is where all of your water and other goods come from and they come into your system they go from one chamber where it kind of all the solids settle and then it filters over to the next one with a much more of the uh, the liquids and then it goes from there to your drain field it's a very simplified uh, explanation of it but you want to make sure you are putting this three inch adapter right here into the intake side of your tank. So that way it's the exact same thing as all the solids being flushed into your tank. Because if you accidentally put it on the other side, the other chamber, and if you're dumping all of your solids, your toilet paper and whatnot right on top of that, it could get into those tubes, it could get out into your drain field, do all sorts of damage and clogging. We're talking thousands of dollars of damage. So be sure that you're putting this in the correct side of your septic tank. <laughs> hey love, what's going on? You can say hi. Say hi guys. Dad, who are you talking to? I'm making a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now that we've now that it's dry, let's go ahead and hook up our hose and let's test this bad boy out. So this is the part of the setup that's gonna obviously vary on a case-by-case -case basis on how close you can park next to your septic system where you just installed your three-inch fitting. So I'm approximately, I'd say about 30 feet away from uh the front of the trailer and then probably closer to 40 feet or so from the rear of the trailer. So I bought the most affordable option I could, just two of the cheap 20 foot long hoses and then some fittings to attach them together because I'll need about a 40 foot run. Obviously if you can park closer, you'll need less, further you'll need more. So this is actually I think where the most expensive part of the setup comes from is getting the hoses run. And if you buy the really expensive Rhino hoses, it's gonna cost you a lot more versus I got these basic 20 foot hoses for I think $8 a piece. And I apologize, my daughter is jumping on the trampoline in the background. <laughs> So if you are in a hurry and you uh, have a few extra bucks to spend, I highly suggest getting the Rhino ones I was mentioning earlier because they are so much more convenient, but it will probably triple the cost of your install going from, you know, getting one of these short, these 20 foot hoses for about seven, eight bucks, I think is what I paid for each 20 foot hose, uh, and then another probably three or four bucks, maybe five bucks per coupling. You'll probably pay about 20 bucks for a 15 foot hose of the Rhino. Maybe maybe even more, 25, 30, depending on where you buy it. But you won't have to go through this process of installing them like this because they simply just click onto each other and come pre-ready pre, pre -ready to go. So I'll leave that up to you. I'm cheap. So I went for the cheap kind, but if you're okay with spending an extra 20, maybe 30 bucks, depending on the length of your run, you might want to go with the rhinos. All right, 30 minutes later, now that we got it all hooked up, we simply, just like an RV park, unscrew our lid. We screw 
our hose on nice and snug. Attach our hose in the right direction. up having to add one extra attachment 40 feet might have made it there because these hoses do have to stretch out the cheaper ones they don't just automatically get 20 feet they have to stretch them out after like under tension but uh, I had an extra hose lying around so I went ahead and just added that third hose to it and that is my run so I can get from here and I can probably now reach all the way to the rear with about 60 feet of hose so let's pull the plug and watch it flow all right i can hear it working uh one of the other things you might want to be aware of when you're doing your run we lucked out in that our RV is probably a good 10 feet higher than our tank and you want to have that gravity to push everything down. If you're going, if your tank is higher than where you're going to park, you're going to have to uh, figure something out there because obviously just like any RV park, your tank has to be higher than your dump point or you'll have issues. So thankfully if you for us, this worked out really well. Maybe I'll do a follow up video in the future to see if I have any issues or anything like that. But so far it's working pretty well. All right guys, so this is one of those ideas that seems like a good idea when I'm thinking about it, but as I am uh, placing the camera inside of my own septic tank, I can only imagine the horror that might happen if I drop the coach. Oh. All my dreams have come alive in the nick of time. All these dreams all I need to show you how to believe